That's wheel to wheel for second. Give it to Zane Smith pulling off of turn two. And Eck is, I think, just as strong as Zane Smith, but obviously at a track position deficit here as they work down the back straightaway, he falls off the back bumper of Zane Smith in that race for second. Zane, meanwhile, closing back in on race leader Nick Sanchez. They're separated by about a quarter truck length off four. Only three different drivers have led today's race. Oh, Nick trouble on the front straightaway. Dean Thompson into the wall, bounced down the racetrack and collected, I believe it was Tyler Ankrum, who almost got hooked. Oh, man. And then Thompson gets plowed, gets T-boned by a truck that was coming through the smoke and couldn't see him. Heavy collision here on the front stretch. A four-truck incident on the front stretch and one that probably should not have happened as uh, Dean Thompson was spinning off of turn four and through the trioval. And then out of nowhere, seemingly, three other trucks came in. And one of the trucks was... Got the uh, Trey Hutchins. Of Armani Williams. Yes, and uh, Armani Williams, Trey Hutchins, of course, as you mentioned, Dean Thompson, and also the Matt Mills truck as well. Those are the four that have been involved in each sustaining considerable damage here coming off turn four and into the front stretch. Boy, that was a hard, hard hit for everybody involved. And it looks like the window nets are down on the Trey Hutchins machine as well as now the Matt Mills machine. Matt is getting out of the truck with some assistance there. They are now attending to the Dean Thompson truck. And uh, this one is, yeah, in fact, okay, Dean Thompson is out of the truck and they are attending to his needs. And then Armani Williams, I'm trying to see if the window net is down on that particular truck. Uh, window net's still up on Armani Williams there. He is a part-time driver in the NASCAR Craftsman Truck Series. In fact, he's grabbing a gear. He feels he can continue. There is some damage to the left front of that truck. This is going to take a while to clean up. We're going to watch a replay and recap it for you, but some violent hits here on the front stretch of Texas Motor Speedway. Back at Texas Motor Speedway, where we are under caution in the SpeedyCash.com 250. Caution first brought out by Dean Thompson, who hit the wall, but then was hit by two other trucks right here on the front stretch. Now, we can report that Matt Mills has, has gotten out of his truck. So, too, has Trey Hutchins. Uh, Armani Williams wanted to pull away, but then they stopped him, and now they're trying to give him a push. He has not yet gotten out of his truck. Uh, Dean Thompson has also been... Uh, lifted out of his truck they had him on a backboard the good news is that the uh, safety teams are actually conversing with him he had a hellacious hit again it looked like he just got a little bit wide off the corner off turn four made contact with the wall with the right side of his machine spun in front of the field and then just collected everybody else. So they are getting Dean Thompson now, who was having a great run here today at Texas Motor Speedway. They are getting into the ambulance. I can see that he is moving, and it looks like there is some communication between him and the uh, medical crew. So that is the good news, because he took a very, very hard hit here on the front stretch of Texas. We talked earlier in the day about Dean Thompson's background, a former track champion at the Irwindale Speedway in California, his native state, Trey Hutchins, involved in this accident. He drives for a family-owned and operated uh, truck team. Trey is from Lexington, North Carolina, 24 years of age, making his season's debut for uh, 2023, just his 11th career start in this NASCAR Craftsman Truck Series. Talked about Matt Mills being involved as well out of Lynchburg, Virginia, 17th career start here this afternoon, driving for the folks at Young's Motorsports. And out of Detroit, Michigan, Armani Williams making his fifth career start here today. Those the drivers involved, the four drivers involved in this situation, which originally had brought out the seventh caution flag of the afternoon when all of this unfolded coming off turn four. Then those trucks came to a rest right here in the front stretch, just shy of the start finish line. The rest of the field has continued on. They came down the pit lane on the subsequent lap and went back out onto the racing surface. The safety truck has now stopped the field over on the back straightaway as cleanup continues here in the front stretch. And as a result, we've uh, gone under the red flag for about the last three or four minutes.